Oh, puppy. Hello, friends. It's Angel. And today, I have for you a closet clean out video. Wah! Oops. <laughs> if you saw my latest vlog, you have seen the state of my closet. It is just jam packed, full of stuff, and a lot of it I'm not even wearing. I'm noticing when I go to get ready in the morning, it takes me freaking forever because I put on a million things, take them off. I'm just overwhelmed by the amount of stuff. And I'm having two major problems with my closet right now. The first is synthetic fabrics. It's already getting so hot where I live. If I wear non-cotton garments, I just end up so uncomfortable and I'm just done not being comfy in my clothes. And then next, I have so many clothes that are for imaginary events. For example, I have this weird scenario in my head when I go on a strawberry themed picnic and I'm like, oh yeah, I'll buy that. When am I going on a strawberry themed picnic? No, if I haven't done it yet, I'm not gonna do it. So this would be perfect for it. <laughs> Uh, that being said, I probably will keep a couple impractical things just to appease the the childish part of me that wants to play dress up. So how I think I'm gonna do this, I've never done one of these before. I watched a few videos, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how my system works. If you've noticed, I have this garment rack and I'm gonna pull things out in categories and stick them on here and then kind of go for them. I probably won't show you everything or if I do, it'll just be like a, a keeping, uh, selling, uh, donating. <laughs> just cause we're gonna be here all day. I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's get going on this closet clean out. I'm so excited. So. First, I think we're gonna start with the sweaters because that is the majority of my closet. So I'll start grabbing those out and stick them on our handy dandy rack. <laughs> Here are all my sweaters. <laughs> I started hanging up the cardigans, but then it ended up being a lot. So this is all my sweaters and sweatshirts. Scooched out my way just a little. So first, let's start with the knitted sweaters. Oh man, we're starting on a hard one. I really like this one, but I don't think I've ever worn it the whole time it's been in my closet. I think I got it like two summers ago. And I picked it out because it has these really cool sleeves, but yeah, I just have never worn it. So being real estate, I'm probably not gonna wear it in the future. So since I'm not keeping this piece, it will be going on my shop. And I should probably mention, uh, my shop is in the description. I'm gingham underscore goose on Depop, Macari, and Poshmark. Next, another hard one. Oh, I can't remember the last time I wore this one either. It's so cute. I might try this one on real quick. Oh no, I really like it. <laughs> this might be a piece I'm just not wearing because my closet is too cluttered maybe. I brought in a step stool because I didn't want to reposition my camera, but I want you to see the whole outfit. See, it's so cute. I think I will keep this one. <laughs> so this one is a keep. Next, we have this Chicks sweater by the Quacker Factory. This is easy keeping. I love this and I wear it all the time. Next, we have this cardigan. I guess I forgot to grab it out of the sweaters. Oops. But yeah, I've had this all winter. I did not wear it once. So it is going on the shop. Next, this one is a bit tight on me, but I love it too much to get rid of. So keeping this one. Next, I'm absolutely in love with this one. This might even be my best sweater ever. It is so adorable. Definitely keeping. Next, we have this adorable goosey sweater. This is another one I'm just completely in love with and keeping. Next, we have this adorable kitty sweater. This one I also love so much. I love my Fairy K sweaters, so I am keeping. Then we have this heart print sweater. It's kind of sheer, 
but I do get a lot of wear out of this one too. So I am keeping it. Next, oh, this one has a story. <laughs> I bought this brand new from Ross years ago and I never wore it because uh, at the time I was learning about sustainable fashion. Now I buy everything secondhand and I just ended up never wearing it because I'd look at it and remember this is the last thing I bought new and I just felt so guilty. So this one I'm definitely parting ways with. It's going on my shop. Next we have this really cool vintage sweater from Jacqueline Smith. I think I am keeping. It's a different vibe from a lot of my other sweaters and I did get a lot of wear out of it in the winter so I'm keeping. I think I really need to hurry this up because I'm taking forever. So these two, they're very similar. They're these fuzzy material. I wear them both all the time. So I'm keeping both of these. Next I have two shawls. I don't think I need to. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one and keep this one because I prefer it. Next, piggy sweater. I love it. It's so cute. It's so fuzzy. Keep. Next, I wore this all winter. Fuzzy, cozy, keeping this as well. Next, we have three cardigans from Storybook Knits. We have this froggy one, this kitty one and a Cinderella one. And I'm keeping all three of these because they are all so cute. Now we are finally to the sweatshirts. So first we have this one, Angelica from Rugrat. I wear it to like every doctor's and dentist appointments for some reason. It is just comfy and makes me less stressed. So I am keeping this one. Next we have snowman's keeping scary bunny selling gooses keeping kitty keeping more goosies keeping another rugrats selling yet another goose sweater keeping it says i'm too busy to be organized my little pony keeping i got this one off the grip sailor moon i love it but I think it's just too pilly at this point and I can't be bothered to deal with it. So this one, I think I'm gonna actually donate this one. Next, Powerpuff Girls, a blossom keeping. Next, we have these two Forever 21 Hello Kitty crop sweatshirts. I'm keeping both of them. They are both so cozy. And finally, we have this little bear hoodie. Thing. I think it's too worn out. I think I'm gonna go ahead and donate it. So that's it for sweaters. I'm gonna put my sweaters back in the closet and then we're gonna move on, I think, to blouses and like outerwear. Here are all the blouses and outerwear. So first we have two faux fur pink jackets. I am keeping this one and selling this one. Now, Care Bear's jacket with Grumpy Bear. Wear this all the time. It's just my sloppy throw it on jacket. So keeping, however, this one, I think I am selling. I hardly ever wear it and I just wonder how it fits me. Denim jacket, super granny core. I am definitely keeping. Next, this sheer kind of cover up. Never wear it, I don't think I'm going to, though I am selling this one. Next, this sort of sheer bolero. I love how it fits, it's super cute keeping this and while I'm at it, I'm also keeping this cardigan. It is also lovely and lightweight, perfect for spring. Next we have this cardigan. I got it up, thread up. It is by Old Navy and it fits super cute, definitely keeping. But this one I thrifted just does not fit right. So this one I am selling. Next we have this blue cloud cropped cardigan. Yeah, no, I like it. I like it, so I am keeping this one. <laughs> Next, we have this pastel blue cardigan. Love this one. And same deal with this cream one. It ties in the front. Both of these I am keeping. Next, 
these are like different enough to keep both i think i might try them on real quick okay yeah i love this one yeah <laughs> definitely keeping this one this one is too small <laughs> selling this one next we have this adorable pink bed jacket definitely keeping this one now on to the blouses first we have these two this one is a lacy bralette and this is a lingerie top both are so beautiful i never wear either of them so i think both of them are going on the shop next we have this denim blouse i love it it's so cute and granny i wear it all the time definitely keeping next we have this super fairy core blouse i never ever wear it i think it's slightly too small so this is going on the shop next we have a fairy blouse i actually wear i love this it is comfy and i am keeping it kind of similarly we have this adorable fairy blouse sleeveless deep v it's a little small but i think i have to keep it it's too beautiful I actually wore this the first time i went to a bar so it's kind of also like a piece that has memories in it so i am keeping it next we have two similar blouses cropped still pink and i think i am gonna keep both of them next we have this blouse that i just got it's like a sheer layering piece so keeping this but this one i've gone to wear quite a few times and each time i've been too uncomfy i don't know i just know i'm gonna be sweating in it all day so this one i am selling this one i'm keeping this one pretty cute i think i'm gonna keep it next these two are my favorite blouses right now so i'm definitely keeping both of these keep all three of these i am selling i never wear them keeping this is like my date night special occasion blouse keeping mm, selling keeping this one i need to try on i don't know if it actually fits oh uh, nope it does not fit <laughs> selling next we have two blouses from the quacker factory i definitely love this one but this one i think i also have to try it on real quick i think this sleeve length is gonna be a problem for me so quacker factory blouses keeping selling next we have all these halter tops this one this one and this one none of these fit quite right so i think i'm selling all of these next we have another halter top this one just does not fit quite right either but this one is going on the shop next we have these two gorgeous sheer blouses lace pink and a white one and i never wear these i think it's my synthetic problem so both of these are going on my shop finally we have this adorable blouse from romeo and juliet it is stunning but i don't know why it just does not look right on me so i think i am selling this one as well so that's it for blouses and outerwear oh my goodness i'm getting so tired it's been like three hours since i started filming i'm already so pleased i have a good pile of things that i am getting rid of but we still have t-shirts and camis dresses and nightgowns and also uh bottoms <laughs> skirts and pants and shorts so we still have quite a bit Whew. but i'm gonna put this away and then i think i'm gonna grab my t-shirts and camis and we'll just go through those real quick Okay, now for t-shirts. I'm not gonna bother hanging out my t-shirts. I have all my camis on one hanger, which is terrible. But yeah, I'm just gonna speed run this and get through this real quick. Grandma T, donate. Keep, definitely keep. I just got this and I already wear it all the time. Definitely keep. Mmm, sell. This was in my t-shirts, but it's kind of more of a blouse. I 
hope this fits. It is a little tight, but I think I am keeping it. It was actually my mom's, from my mom's closet. She said she bought it off a magazine, an English magazine. So it's like limited, limited edition. And it's just so cute. I have to keep. I think I actually need to find something to like wear under it. Keep, keep. Here's the back. <laughs> keep, keep. Then this isn't a t-shirt, but I found it smushed in my t-shirt drawer. A white corset I didn't even know I had. Um, and it does not fit me. So this is going on my shop. Now onto the camis. Let's also get through these camis real fast. Keep, donate, sell, 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 donate. Mm, I need to try this on. Donate, keep. And a final one, keep. Now I'll try that one on real quick. Okay, I tried it on. This one I am keeping. That's it for the camis and t shirts. So now we're gonna do the bottoms and the skirts. There's not a lot of those. That won't take too long. Then it's on to the dresses and nightgown. So I'm gonna go put stuff away and then grab my shorts and skirts and the pants. Okay, now onto the skirts and the bottoms. First, let's do some shorts, keeping these. Just some little denim shorts to kind of wrinkly. I need to <laughs> deal with them. Next, these are like my everyday shorts. I wear them all the time. So definitely keeping those as well. And then these cute cream shorts. I wear them often as well. So definitely keeping as well. Then we have my only pair of jeans. Yes, they are stretchy. I don't like wearing pants and I especially don't like wearing jeans. So I only have one pair that I'm keeping. <laughs> Next, my only pair of sweatpants. They are my little pony, keeping those as well. Then we have these shorts. They're super pilly. So I am donating. We have some leggings. These ones I am keeping, they are super soft and comfy. These pink ones, I never wear. I don't really like the color, so I am donating. Then these, they're cute, but I never wear purple. So these are being donated. Then we have these pants. Not even sure what you call them, but I really love this. I wear it all the time. It is so comfortable. That's it for the pants and the shorts. Now we have the skirts. First we have this one. I love the length of this and the little tie. I am definitely keeping this one. Then we have this long skirt with a little lacy hem. It's really sheer though, so I never end up wearing it. So this one I am selling. Next we have the super long floaty one. I love it, I wear it all the time, except my puppy, when she was a little baby, she stole my lipsticks and ate it on it. Um, but honestly, I don't know if I care that much. I wear this on like, kinda lazy days, staying at home. So, I'm gonna keep it. Plus it's a cute memory baby pumpkin. Next, we have this cute skirt. I love this one as well. Also keeping this one I've had forever, but let's be honest, it don't fit no more. So I think I'll just donate it. Next we have this ballerina tutu almost skirt, cute tool, but I never wear it ever. So you can see it still has a little tag on it. So I think I'm going to sell this one as well. Next, we have this one. I just thrifted it. I love it. I am keeping it. Next, we have this one. This is my favorite skirt. It's beautiful floral design. Goes with so many of my cardigans, and it is just my favorite. So definitely keeping. Finally, this denim skirt. Uh, I haven't worn it yet, but I really, really want to. I think I will keep it. 
for now. That's it for the skirts and the bottoms. Now we can get on to the dresses and the nightgowns. Finally, almost done, last category. I am so tired. <laughs> Finally, we have our dresses and nightgowns. So first we have this amazing sheer butterfly nightgown. I think I will keep this one. Next we have this sheer puffy sleeve nightgown with lace trim. This one I don't like as much as the other, so I am going to sell this one. Next we have this white robe which I just thrifted. I love it, definitely keeping. Next we have this nightgown. It is very princessy with puffy sleeves. I am keeping this one. Have this gorgeous butterfly floral nightgown. It's super long. That being said, I don't love that it's sleeveless, so I am selling this one. Next we have this nightgown. So princessy. I am definitely keeping it because it does make me feel like an actual princess. Next we have these two blue nightgowns. I wear both of these regularly, so I am keeping them both. Next we have this nightgown. I haven't worn it yet, but I don't think because it's not pretty or anything. I just think my closet was too full that I didn't see it squashed in the back, so I am keeping this one. Next we have all these slips. First, this one, super comfy. I think I'm gonna keep. This one is super pretty. I think I am keeping this one as well. Also keeping this one. It is super comfy. This one I am gonna sell. I think I'll sell this one as well. Now onto the dresses. We have some super impractical ones. These are all vintage handmade dresses. This one I think is just a church dress. And these two are these amazing square dancing dresses. I don't think I can get rid of any of these. They are just too amazing, such amazing finds. I'm not gonna find them ever again since they are handmade. So definitely keeping these. Next, I have this pool cover up with a crocheted top. Keeping this, can't wait to actually go swimming. Then we have this formal dress from David's Bridal. I got it as like an emergency. You need to go to someone's wedding dress, but yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to sell this one. Next we have the only black thing in my whole wardrobe. This amazing velvet black dress. It fits amazing and I think everyone needs a little black dress in their wardrobe. So I am keeping this. This dress is so gorgeous, I hardly ever wear it, but I'm not sure if it still fits. I might have to try it on real quick. Yep, I could not get that past my shoulders or my hips, so I am definitely selling this. Next, we have the sundress. It's super cute, wear it all the time, keeping. Then we have this formal dress. It's super pilly, so I think I'm gonna donate it. Next, we have this sundress. I also wear this a bunch, so keeping. Next we have this dress. I got it off thread up forever ago. Never worn it, hardly fits to be honest, so I will be selling it. Next we have this lace casual dress. It's super cute for layering and I love it. I am keeping this one too. Then we have this crazy sequin dress. It laces up in the back. I'm never gonna wear this, let's be honest. So this I will be selling. Next we have this amazing white ruffly dress. I thrifted this and it was originally $425. I did not pay that. The only thing that's wrong with it is there's a button missing on the sleeve, but it came with spare buttons. Definitely keeping this one. Next we have this cute dress. I haven't worn it yet because I kind of don't like this top, but I think I can style it cute with a cardigan. So I think I will keep it for now. Oh my God, we are on the final freaking item. This dress, I wore it to one event and I didn't really like how I looked in the pictures and I just don't think it's very flattering on me. So this, I think I am going to sell. And that's it for dresses. Oh, let me just put them away real quick and I'll show you all the things I am selling and getting rid of. Oh my goodness, all of this. 
I am selling and all of this I am donating. So yeah, we really did get rid of a lot today. I am so tired. I started at one today and it is six. So that took me five hours. <laughs> I am really happy though. All this is getting out of here. I feel like closet clean out is such an essential part of spring cleaning and I'm glad you guys were able to join me. Do let me know in the comments down below if this inspired you to clean out your closet for spring. Also let me know like what your systems are and what your goals are for your closet clean out. I'm now excited to go thrifting and like get things I actually need that it will suit me well. I feel like now I have such better grasp on my wardrobe needs if that makes sense now that the clutter is gone. But I think that is it for this video. Thank you as always for liking and commenting and subscribing. I do a really, <laughs> I do really appreciate you guys. Heart. If you guys are interested, I could do a part two where I clean out my accessories, my shoes, and maybe even my shop inventory. We'll see though, this, this video took a lot out of me. But if you guys really wanna see it, I am happy to oblige. But I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.